I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the potential of the Nook Color. This has Android 2.1 on it. It is rooted, so it does not have any of the Barnes Noble software as the default skin. First of all, we're going to bring up what this looks like before you root it. This right here is the default Barnes & Noble home skin. You have your books on your desktop. You can drag around. You can go to shop the Barnes & Noble store. And you can browse all the different books they have as soon as it loads here. This is what costs $250 if you go to Barnes & Noble or Best Buy or something like that. This is what you're getting it for to read. However, if you root it, as all Android devices are able to, you can unlock it. And this one, I've kept the Barnes & Noble stock Android 2.1 software on here. All I did was enable the Android market, and then I downloaded the ADW Launcher app. So now I have the home screen where I can place my apps. I have my app drawer that comes with ADW. It has widgets you can put on there. You can see it's slight laggy. It's not horrible. You can fix it. There's still a lot of modifications I can make. The, def the processor is a 800 megahertz Texas Instruments processor that is overclockable to 1.1 gigahertz. This one here, if you see in my set CPU app, I have it clocked to the max right now apparently. It definitely does help with the lagginess. Although occasionally there are some things, but I mean for the most part, considering what this is and how much you paid for, everything's very smooth. Let me give you a couple demonstrations. Let's go to a game, the famous Ninja Jump game, and you can see. I have my volume turned down low, but there is a pretty decent external speaker on this thing. Oh well. Anyways, that game, which is designed for a phone, translates very well. Some don't as well, like for example, Solitaire doesn't take up the entire screen, but that's usually the exception, not the rule. Let's go to a couple other options here, things you can look at. It does have live wallpaper, if you see the background, it's moving. So that could be possible reason why there's lagginess. It looks kind of cool, so I prefer to have it on and put up with a little bit of a lag. Here's my whiskey app. That's just not a very good example to show right now. Here's radio time with all the different radio stations. Let me documents to go is exceptionally nice on this because you can edit documents a lot easier than you can on a phone. I'm not going to show you any examples, but this does work very well. My favorite thing, though, is remote desktop. I have phone my PC, which is a $10 app. And you'll see how nice this looks, unlike the phone, which is very difficult to use it on. That is my PC at my work, about 12 miles from here right now. It's a lot more manageable to use than on my phone. And this is just a beta program, too. So, a couple other examples before I end this. Let's see what else we have here that we can show. Let's see, we have USA Today. That translates well. Good for the news. Um, Best Buy app definitely translate well. I need to change that screen. Now, one thing to note, this has only one button right there. That's the home button with the Nook logo. Takes you to your default home right there. You do it again. I have it set on my ADW launcher to do previews. Or you can also do this. 
but in Android there's three important buttons not only the home but the back and the menu there's this thing they call soft keys which is right here you can push that button and it brings up your menu button your back button your home button and a search if you want kind of unnecessary or you can close it occasionally in the Barnes and Noble's notification bar they also give you the menu button right there see that's the typical menu in the launcher and that actually works out very well you'd be surprised it's not that inconvenient and lastly uh, Google Earth works very well so does uh, Google Voice I can actually text from this phone and receive text through my Google Voice number Gmail works great Google Talk and Yahoo Messenger um, Google Maps now there's no GPS built in however due to Wi-Fi location and that is exactly where I am right now it knows because that's where my Wi-Fi network is as you can see the home screen seems to be laggy on this demonstration it's usually not that bad but on most of these apps I'm showing here it's very good now let me go back change back to the Barnes and Noble home this is what I'm coming from but after rooting it you open up all of this thanks to the Android market which I'm opening right there and that translates very well as well like a lot of the apps do there's no microphone there's no GPS and there's no cameras so any app that uses those although with GPS you can use Wi-Fi so actually that's not a big deal but anything that uses the camera or a microphone you wouldn't want to install it on here well that's about it for 250 bucks you get what you pay for an excellent Android tablet probably not the best e-reader in the world because the battery life is pretty short much better than a smartphone this gets knocked for the battery life but I think it's a lot better than my Android phone uh, not nearly as good as the Kindle but compared to a phone it's pretty good so there you have it rooted 2.1 color